Well, I made a five minute countdown with electro music using the music visualizer. And in the beginning of the video, I told you that um, I would provide more detail on how I made it. I provided some detail, but I don't think it did it much justice. That was sort of the, the voice in the back of my head telling me that I didn't do enough in regards to explaining it. First thing, what you need to do is you need to download the trial of the music visualizer. You do that by going to Magic musicvisuals.com magic music visuals just click the download button and get the free demo and um, once you have that installed in your computer then we can move forward with this tutorial so what is the hurdle with this so number one you have to find uh, a good commercial free video to apply for the project to get the project moving you have to get like a train video or maybe a, a car or some kind of travel that seems to work very well with this effect where you're traveling um, once you have that video and you edit it and do whatever you want with it, you then import it into the Magic Visualizer program. So here we are. This here's the actual video that I programmed with the visualizer. And the hurdle here is the music track. The music is actuating the speed of the video. That's the key, right? You can't use the full audio track with all the different layers, the beat, the harmony, the supportive stuff the leads you can't use that track because that will have an effect on the speed what you have to do is extract only the beat and let the beat be the thing that is controlling the speed and in order to do that you have to have control over all tracks so you are going to have to make your own music to do this to have control over it now if you have an account with epidemic sound they they do allow you to isolate the different tracks so you could use that service and apply it to this but if you want to give it away to your friends or whatever you're going to have to make the music yourself and that's what I did with this video I actually made the music using a digital audio workstation called Cakewalk and I exported the beat and used that to develop this video in Magic Visualizer so the effects that I applied was first importing the video so you right click hit add media and then video file and then you click these three dots and select your video file right that's what this is here I'll delete this because we don't need it and then I added a radial blur so that is sort of um, seen on the outside of the video a little bit it's just a very subtle effect which sort of adds to the motion of the video in order to get it to speed up what you have to do is check off the chain link next to speed you see it right here and then you want to make sure that the source is referencing the video track that you have. In this case, it's source zero. And you want to select the feature of volume. So whenever that beat hits, there's a spike in volume, which then commands the music visualizer to speed up the video. That's what's going on there. And you want to apply two subparameters to this feature of you know controlling the speed with volume. One is scale, which makes it go from zero to a thousand real quick. So I, I added a, a scale parameter of 38, which is fairly high, and I added a smooth parameter. So instead of it going from zero to a thousand in microsecond, the system will slowly increase it to high speed so that it's not so jarring and visually weird. It just makes it more slick. And in regards to the radial blur, um, I just clicked the link to the distance here, the distance parameter, and added a smooth of 13 and a scale of 1.24. And that is it. That's all it is in regards to making this thing. So really the hurdle is not necessarily applying the effect. The hurdle is getting that beat track to control the play speed. Once you get your hands on the beat track and um, getting the video exported, what you do is you bring it into your video editor and you put the video in and then you put the full soundtrack with the harmonies and the leads and put it in, sync it up and mute the audio on this video, on the beat track. So you don't hear the beat track, you hear the full song, but it works because it's synced with the beat track in the editor. That's it.